Hey YouTubers, this is Don from True Cable coming back at you again. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you've been enjoying our videos. Uh, today we're going to talk about something a bit more technical and it's something that you might have run into or maybe in fact you've got the problem right now and, and you're looking at this video to figure out what to do about it. Uh, it has to do with getting lower speeds on your cable than you expect. Uh, often, and the way this often will show up is it's not a situation where the cable isn't working at all. Uh, that would be, you know, a situation where the conductors are broken somewhere or one conductor is not hooked up or it's crossed over or something like that. That's a different problem. Uh, what we're talking about today is you hooking in a cable to your switch and then to your computer uh, as an example, and then achieving 100 megabit per second connections instead of one gigabit or 10 gigabit, depending on what cable you're working with and what you're trying to do. So why, why does that happen? Well, it has to do with untwist. Normally, that's the, that's the main reason for it. Ethernet cable, in order to work properly at all, has to be twisted because it's called balanced twisted pair. And uh, if this was a cable that had simply eight wires inside, this plastic jacket and it weren't twisted at all, this cable would simply not function because it has to have those twists in there for a lot of different reasons uh, that you'd have to be an electromagnetic engineer to understand, a bit beyond the scope uh, of this video. Uh, so when you're putting on your plugs or terminating your jacks, you are of course going to have to untwist these conductors in order to make that happen. But can you untwist them too far? Well, yeah. Yeah, you certainly can. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've got a few terminations where I've done some test terminating to show you good, great versus good versus bad. Now, in this case, this cable is all it's going to be able to, to be. Uh, it's a, in this case, it's a Category 6A cable and a Cat 6A plug, and it is going in as far as it will go. In other words, I untwisted the conductors, I flush cut, I pushed in the cable jacket, and I got that cable jacket as far up into the plug as I could take it. And the idea here was to minimize the amount of untwisted pair from this point to this point. So this cable is gonna give you the most headroom. All right, how headroom relates to performance is another video, not for this one. So what, are some other terminations. Okay, well, I've got a standard termination here. Uh, this is, the, the, the standard is half inch. So from the distance from the end of the jacket to the end of the plug is gonna measure half inch. And so that is the termination that's gonna give you standard performance and you're gonna get your one gigabit or your 10 gigabit. However, if you were to not properly terminate the plug and these conductors were untwisted too far, and this is a great example of that, this is probably going to give you a 100 megabit per second connection. Uh, if the cable jacket wasn't even inside the plug, it may not even work at all. Uh, but at best, you're going to get 100 megabit per second out of this. It's not going to perform uh, like you expect it to. It's not going to work properly with your one gigabit switch. In order to get there, you have to have it terminated like so, so that the untwist is back to the spec. If you want to get the absolute best you can get, you know, you intend to run 10 gigabit on CAT6, for example, uh, you know, that you're looking to get the maximum headroom and you want to get out to 165 feet with it, that's the kind of termination you are, should be shooting for. So how does that look in regards to a different type of termination altogether? This is called a keystone jack. And I terminated both ends of this little bitty cable here so I could show you. Uh, this is a properly terminated keystone jack. I happen to terminate this to the A side, uh, not, instead of the B like I normally do. Uh, but there's a, another video that discusses the differences between those. But this jack, I have punched down the wires into each of these slots, and the rules are the same, half inch. It doesn't matter whether we're talking about a plug or a jack. And if you notice, the conductors from the, the if you look at the conductor pairs, the where the untwist stops, or I should say where the twist stops and it gets untwisted in order to get into these slots is no more than one half inch. And this jack will perform exactly like it should. But what happens if you don't terminate it right? Uh, well, 
If you're looking for a 100 megabit per second uh, connection, or maybe a connection that doesn't work at all, then do it like this. Uh, I cut away four of the conductors for clarity here, but the brown pair, as you can see, is the last twist of it is going right up to the terminals, and that's how you want that to look. But the green pair, take a look at that. I untwisted it way too far. In fact, I untwisted it just one time too many. So that's all it took. And then I punched it down. But as you can see from where they actually make contact with the metal prongs in there between these slots to where the last twist is and that conductor pair is above one half inch. So this particular jack is not going to perform to specification, if at all. So that is how your uh, Conductor untwist definitely relates to performance and if you see a 100 megabit per second connection. I hope you found this video useful. Please leave us a uh, thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see fit. And I'm looking forward to uh, doing some more stuff in the future. Stay tuned in. Subscribe to our channel. Happy networking.